Hey, this is Tristan from Hip Cooks and we are in West Los Angeles. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make cauliflower. All right, got my pan over here, getting nice and hot. And cauliflower, remove the leaves after washing. And we wanna cut out this middle as much as we can. Just get a little chunk of it out there. And we can see the cauliflower comes in nice little florets. I like my florets pretty small, bite size. So you'll just take some time to break up the cauliflower into nice little pieces. The smaller you make them, the faster they cook too, so. You don't wanna go through the process of snapping them. Their natural trunk, you can chop them. Okay, so I'll keep working on that, but I wanna also get our garlic sauteing and our ginger. So for ginger, fresh ginger, use a spoon to get that skin off. Alrighty, <laughs> I think we'll call that good. And I'll probably do about an inch. So get it in a nice little slices. And then choppy chop. Into little bits. This will add nice flavor to your Cauliflower, if you're not a fan of ginger, leave the ginger out and just bring in those four cloves of garlic. And all of this can get cooked, or met, sorry, all of this can get sliced up together because we're gonna throw it all in together. So make sure your pan's nice and hot, but right before you throw in the garlic and ginger, turn it down. Ginger and garlic can burn easily, so. Get that in there. Get that on low heat now. Good. And I'll just continue with the cauliflower. It's all right if your garlic and your ginger get a little brown. It'll bring out some of the flavor. I'll save that for a salad. Okay, this is looking good. For the amount of garlic and ginger I chopped up, that's a good amount of cauliflower. Okay. So you can turn up the heat now. And... Give it a bit of a stir. So, just let that sit for a little bit and it will start to soften and golden. Um, and I'll give it a stir every little bit and um, I'll check on that in about a couple of minutes. Okay, the cauliflower has been sauteing in the pan. I did add a little bit of water, about a quarter of a cup, to the pan and then covered it with foil so that the cauliflower would cook a little faster. If you take a look, you can see though that now the pan is dry and some of the cauliflower has gotten a nice brown from the pan. So let's get a little more olive oil in there for flavor. Salt. And why not a little pepper? Okay. And I love adding parsley because it adds some color to a very white dish. So just finely chop that up. Throw it on in. Alrighty. And our lovely plate, cauliflower. Okay. And that is how to cook cauliflower, enjoy.